Man, oh man, we back at it, bruh. We back at it again. Another day in the dollar. It's season four. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all sure already know what time it is. When season a new season drops, new six drops. And when new six drops, that's when I'm about to drop. So I'm gonna let y'all know already. The only new thing that came out this season, as y'all can see, I'm already level seven already. I've been gaming a little bit. But the only thing that really they added that I could say that's usable is the new behind the back that came out. I'll show y'all real quick. Everything else that came out with this Ty, what's his name, Tyrese guy, it's not really explosive. It doesn't really get you open. So if you want to use the behind the back that just came out, go ahead and be my guest. You can use it. It's not bad. It's actually explosive, but it's not better than the Jamal Murray. But since you clicked on this vid, I might as well show y'all my six. That rhymes too. That's crazy. But the sad news that I want to break down y'all is Patty Mills is patched. It wasn't as bad as before how it is now. Before, you can still shoot over people now. It's just that the green one for Patty Mills isn't just high how it used to be. Like I feel like, and another guard that I knew used Patty Mills, we both feel like it's just not as good as it was as before when people first started finding it out. I feel like Curry Base is actually way better than Patty Mills. With Patty Mills, you don't get contest, but the green window is just too small. And so since Patty Mills' jump shot is no longer as good as it was before, I think it's time to go back to the old jumper, Steph Curry base. When I mean Steph Curry base can never go wrong, if you miss with Steph Curry base, I don't know what to tell you. But I think it's about that time to make that comeback to Steph Curry. But besides that, let's really test out this jump shot and let's see if it's still good in this new season. All right, first game, I'm not going to lie to y'all, I switched to set point. I was a jump user, but I ended up switched to set point just because I don't know what they did. I feel like they fixed some of the delay. The only reason why I was using jump was because I would release the ball at the top of my shot and it would still be like slightly early or something. So this is my first game right here. We're using this base. I don't know the timing like that. Hands still cold. Fingers is not warmed up yet. First shot. Blink. I'm like, oh yeah, it's over. This jump shot patched. I, it can't be me. It can't be me. I'm missing with Steph Curry wide open. I'm blaming it on the game. I can't lie. So I'm like, all right, let me take it up the court again. I'm like, first shot, first shot. Come up the game. Wide open. Clean. This thing is trash. In my head, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm patched. I'm done for. It's over. Stage is over with. I'm not going in no more. But third shot, green. I'm like, oh. Hold on, like, I just gotta get. Let me let me get my let me get my jump shot warmed up. There's no way I could be patched. Y'all yeah, see the defense though, six four. We don't make them short short guards no more. You get backdoored every play, and they put anything up in your face. Watch this. Come to the paint, take my scoop. I'm starting to get warmed up. I'm doing shit now. The only thing is about Steph Curry base too. You can't pull everything that you used to pull with Patty Mills. If you ever use Patty Mills, you would know. With Patty Mills, what I mean, you can shoot over people like. If they don't jump or really put their hand up, you're just jumping in front of them and they don't get no contest. And it says open for some reason. But with Steph Curry, it actually pops up as a contest most of the time. Look at me, wide open, don't get the ball, but it's cool though. Nobody's still there. Screen, come on. And you know, I don't know why. It's just like once I start greening one shot, it's just like, oh, I just got to go three for three. I just got to keep shooting anywhere. It don't matter. And they're not guarding me like I'm 50 or something. I felt disrespected too. But if you still happen to use jump, I recommend you switch to set point. I don't know. I don't know if it's only me, but other people who I play with say that they jump shots feel like they got sped up too. I'm not the only one. That's the only reason why I can't use jump no more. With jump, it's just too quick. I would shoot like a catch and shoot sometimes and I wouldn't be able to time it just because my jump shot is just too fast for me. Like I would be tapping square but for like a little half a second and it would still come back slightly late just because I don't know what happened after the update. They kind of fixed some of the, like, the, the latency, I guess, but that's why I switched to set point. You have to try out set point if you use jump already. And you probably breaking, I don't know. But if you're still checking with jump, be my guest. Use jump still. But me, I'm a sub point guy. Look, watch this. For the game on the line, 20 piece first game on. You see me turning around. I like the no look. The no look is tough to me. It gives me old 2K vibes. Like, you ever, if you ever know what the mic drop is, it's like the mic drop this year. You just turn around after you green. Especially after you crab somebody or cook somebody, you just turn around and put your hands out. It's tough. But 67% from the three, first game with the old jump shot using Steph curry base after the first game i'm actually starting to like believe in this jump shot i thought it was 50 at first but now that i'm starting to give it a chance it's not bad i could probably tweak it to be a little bit better but with the steph curry base it don't feel as bad as i thought it would like look at this 
open. That's not open. That is not open. That's a Patty Mills type shot. Like when I was using Patty Mills, that's all I was pulling. But I would say that was a bad shot, but I still agree with it. Cause come on. But look at me right here. Run down court, thinking I'm, I don't know who, Ticino. Not my body. I don't know who I was thinking. Second game on. But look at me putting my body on the line. I'm telling y'all, if you a small guard, this minimum height this year is 6'4". If you 6'2 guard, you ain't getting no contest in the paint, no contest on the perimeter. Look at this green. And you're not getting no contest anywhere on the court. I'm telling you, make a 6'4 guard. If you have a small guard, make a 6'4. 6'4 is the minimum height. If you want to get Kyrie and all that, still be able to speed boost left and right. The lowest height I made this year was 6'1. And that's crazy. In 2K22, people was running around with 5'7 guards. It's no problem on the threes. Now, I wish you would make a 5'7 guard and cop on the 2K24. You are not going to have a good time at all. When I mean you're just going to get scooped laid or dunked on every play or just shot over just look at this guy he didn't know where to be found i'll do that to a five seven guard every single play but that's just how 2k evolved over time like before that's why i feel like 2k was fun too you, you wasn't seeing all these people on 6a builds that was just able to do everything on the court like everybody had their own role everybody wasn't able to do everything guards wasn't slashing finishing shooting and playmaking all at once but that's what archetypes i feel like made the game balance but you know, I'm not gonna complain. Get a bucket, how you gonna get a bucket regardless. We, we we chose us. If you have a small guard, we chose to be small guards. And some stuff tall guards can't do that we can do, but you know, that's barely. They can almost do everything in the game. They like little demigods. I be feeling bad sometimes, cause imagine having to chase me around the court the whole game. I would get tired. I see why people be in game shots. Just look at this explosive behind the back into the shot. And you know me, me feeling myself. I got take, you know where I'm about to pull from. Deep, uh, come on. You see the shots I'm here. Steph Curry base is looking like it's better than Patty Mills. If I would have showed y'all what I was missing with Patty Mills, y'all would be like, ain't no way. Ain't no way you got a 96 three point and missing with Patty Mills. But yeah, that's 15 points right there. Straight threes. But that's in the theater though. I think we should take this to the park and see what's up. I don't know. In the theater, the difficulty and looking a little low. I might have to go to the park or something. I might have to go to stage with Steph Curry. We may have to make a stage video using Steph Curry and not Patty Mills. 12 seconds later. Okay, first park game. Hopefully the park is better than the theater. I don't know what them theater guys is doing. They ain't playing enough defense. I need you to be in my chest trying to guard me. And I'm trying to shoot over people. So let's see what we got in here. We got my man XO and they in game chat too. So we finna see what they about. He can't cook me. I'm 6'4". I'm not no small guard. And I got some strength. 60 strength. Come on, I'm here. Center coming up. Oh, never mind. He's just AFK. Full shot. Thank God. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let me see. He there though. Watch his decks. Watch his decks. Ooh, where you going? Oh my God. Oh, the shot. The shot. The shot. That was a shot right there. But they gave me a sped up. They speeded up my jumper right there. I barely jumped off the floor. I swear, like, 2K be saying that there's no type of speed ups. Or, like, they say they patched the little slow jump shots they give you. Those are not going. Like, maybe so it depends on the animation they give you, really. Like, oh my. Where is he going? Hold on. Where is he going? Where is he going? Oh, his son is there. It's cool. God damn. I like this. They center and they lock down playing good D. I'm going to get something, though. It's cool. They they can't guard me for long. It's cool. I'm going to get some threes. I'm still getting used to this. I'm, I'm new on set point and I'm new on Curry. Well, not new, but I'm back on Curry. Once I get used to set point and Curry together, I'm telling you it's going to be different. I'm pulling it from half. Because the only thing I like about set point is longer releases. So it's no quick releases to the point where I can't time it. So if I'm shooting from deep, I don't got to worry about, oh my God, I got to tap it for a second. You see, three points on the board. I think I think he scared a little bit. He seen that one three and he reaching now. He reaching. You can't be reaching. And he coming out the corner too. Like, he got to stay there. Left stick cancel. Hold on. Behind the back. Ugh, he hit the screen. I'm shooting it. He sent his two back. Where is he at? Where is he at? I don't get it. Like, I've greened the first shot. Green machine's activated. You still not stepping up. It don't make no sense. And they got a point guard that know how to dribble. Oh, yeah. this I think this might be a good game. This might be a good game. Hold on. Oh, oh. Hold on. He might be moving. He messing up a little bit. I'm cool though. I'm helping. He ain't showing that. I'm sick. Oh my god, that's a good lane. He down court. Hit me. Wide open. Wide open. Wide open. You know what color this is. Come on. I don't even gotta say. Let me see something. I gotta see something from this guard. He looking a little boxed. He can't breathe right now. He's in his chest. I don't think he wanna go nowhere. Oh, he reached. 
We good though, we cool. I can't cap. This is the first guy I'm seeing do the L2. I said L2. Left stick cancel besides me, like in park. Like I don't, I don't see nobody really doing it like that. I job tutorial people watch. I haven't really been going against it like that. Like I was surprised. But only in stages I really see people like L2 canceling. Or not even stage really, cause some stages. Oh, where he going? Oh, he reaching. He's scared. He's scared. But as I was saying, some stages it's just people just running straight big guards. Like I feel like the number of small guards on 2K is just lowering and lowering. Cause like tall guys can almost do the same thing that we could do, but just they got defense, and you need defense in this game to win. But I low key see why people are starting to make more and more tall guards. But like you can see how I move. Like you can't really do what I do. Like how I go left to right so fast on a big guard. Like you can't split the defense up. Can't peek in the middle really. You can peek, but it's not gonna be how a small guard really does it. And you can't dribble for hella long like on a tall guard. That's the only thing small guards have above tall guard. That's what I'm saying. Small guards for me runs the threes on the twos. Yeah, tall guards got it. We can't do nothing about y'all. If you run a small guard on the twos, you can't make a mistake. That's why a lot of people make tall guards. On tall guards, you can kind of make room for mistakes and you can still get the ball back. On small guards, say goodbye, you lose it. You're going to have to fight or just pray that he misses for you to get the ball back. But yeah, back to the game. Y'all see 10 to 13. Key's looking box. But you know, little old me, I got to help the paint because the paint was open. But I leave the corner and he greens it. 13-13. I'm like, all right, I got to redeem myself. I got to get a three back. I got to get a three back. It's a, it's a must that I get a three back. If I don't get a three back, I fake just sold the game. Like, key, look, he jumping. I'm wide open. I don't even got to say it. I brick. It's cool, though, because, look, my center gets the rebound. He's a dog. Look, he jumps again because he thinks, he thinks I want to shoot, but I'm really not going to shoot. Come on. What you jumping at? But, you know, when I get a three... They just had to get a three right back. 16, 16, I'm like, damn. But you know, I pop take. You know it take me, right? Take take is like the GG badge. The G once, I, once I pop the GG badge, I can dribble the whole shot clock. Me dribbling the whole shot clock is dangerous. You know why? I don't stop dribbling. It's just dribble after dribble after dribble after dribble. And he just has to chase me. Just chase me around the court. I got take. What you going to do now? What you going to do now? He low got me right here, but... It's cool though. Next play, I still got to take and I got extender. If y'all not running extender, if you like a guard or a small guard, tall guard, whatever, I feel like extender is the best perk to go. You can have take for like the half the game or like probably the full game, especially in a wreck. You have it like for the rest of the quarter. Extender by far than accelerator. If you ex accelerate it, yeah, but I just feel like once you get take, and it's easy to get take this year, you just throw a bunch of assists or like get three assists, you get take. It goes up like 30% every time. But yeah, I think it's time to end the game. You see me wide open for that catch and shoot. Green, come on. You see it. 19 points on them in the park with it. Using Steph Curry base, and I haven't used it in I don't even know how many seasons. Ever since I hit SS3, really, I've been using Patty Mills. But but yeah, to conclusion, I feel like Steph Curry is the best base in the game for small guards. But if you feel like I'm lying, let me know what other jump shots or bases y'all got in the comment section. But yeah, I love y'all boys, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye, have a beautiful time.